Welcome back, my name is Benji, and today I want to welcome you to Pro Cycling Manager 2021 once again for a gameplay video. Today we won't be playing with Immense DB. Today we're gonna venture into a community made database by Badger Barrider. It's called the Women's Database. Finally, we can play with the Women's Peloton. I've been very much looking forward to it. So, in today's video, we're gonna be doing Tour of Flanders, and we'll be doing so with Cecily Utrup Ludwig, with the team of FDG. Marta Cavalli in the team as well, Emilia Fallen, we have Stina Andersen Borgli, Evita Music, and we have Brody Chapman. That's a six woman team ready to strike on the Flemish roads. Stats wise, we've got two leaders technically, Ludwig and Cavalli. I think when it comes to the stats, that Ludwig is not necessarily the strongest on the sprint, while Cavalli has a bit more of a sprint. So if they both can get over the final climb, then on paper, Cavalli should be the option. But when it comes to the real punch, it's Utrup Ludwig. So if we can attack on that final hill, then it's gonna be uh, the Danish superpower that does it. Anyway, let's get this party started. Here we go, ready for the start in Audenarde. Looks like Marta Cavalli is gonna be leader today because she's got a plus for on the day, which means 82 hill, 76 sprint, and 82 cobble. So, so, so strong. A shorter parkour than a men's race, but we do have 140 kilometers with plenty of double sections and also the uh, renowned hills at the end so we got to get ready for that out of that pops up in the last 15 to 20 kilometers on to the first cobbles of the day the Lange Munter. we've got the team of well canyon sram already pushing with elisa chabby we've got sd works on the ride with dora and volering that's for their leader chantal black most likely yep chantal von den Broek black with 82 cobble as well Amy peters with 81 so a very strong team present here Moving on to the high hook, I do want to take control and make sure this does not become a gap just ahead of me. Oh, Emmanuel's got with a puncture, it seems. That's a really bad time to do so. Still a long way to go, but not ideal, definitely. Is that an attack by Mariano Vos with 72 kilometers to go? We've got Lucinda Brandt trying to follow Sarah Roy as well. Ellen Van Dijk closing it down too, and the rest in the peloton is somewhat sitting up. We've got SD Works taking it over in the peloton because they don't have anyone in that front group, so... Tactically, that's the only thing they can do, which offers me a bit of a chance to just not go that fast. But I do want to move forward now because we've got the Kapelmuur von Gerardsbergen coming up and that's a pretty big one. So let's get ready. Let's set up Chapman and hopefully we can uh, push real hard and perhaps drop the hammer later on. Here we go. Past the rest going on to the Muir. We've got Sarah Roy. Let's hope she doesn't block us here. She does not. That's great. It's time for uh, the Norwegian strength to come out. And Chapman to just drop because she's done for today. There we go. Bit of a power move by FDG. We've got ourselves at the front. And we're going to try and hammer it at the top here. Right now on 99 attack power. There we go. With that move. Come on. Oh, the car. The car in the way. That's dangerous. Car shouldn't be here. We're kind of gone with a full women group. But that's not ideal. So let's tone it down a bit. It's a bit too early for that. Ideally, this group comes back and... We can work together in that group because the team time trial is not exactly what I had in mind for the rest of this race. There we go. They're all closing down again. Von Vleuten making that move together with Amy Peter. There's Longo Borghini also closing it down. And a small gap towards Ellen Van Dijk in the uh, second group here. That's because her teammate is at the front, obviously. So she's not going to be as willing to uh, face that down. Let's try and keep this tempo going, perhaps on 65 for a bit. It all kind of came together again. We're now with a group of 29 at the front of the race and... I'm low-key taking control with Emilia Fallen at the front. We had our uh, Norwegian fell already, and that is pretty much done for. So we're going to try and keep going. We've got three more cannons in our team, one of which is almost done. That's the uh, Swedish one, Fallen. So I think that Utrup Plodwig will be uh, riding herself into the dirt for uh, Cavalli here today because she's in extremely good form. We've got a move by Mariano Vos again. Grace Brown trying to follow Lotte Kopecky as well. Let's zoom in a bit. Bjanic, we've got Peters as well trying to close it down. Fallen is basically done. So let's switch over to Utrup Ludwig and get out of the way with Emilia Fallen. There we go. Let's try and hang on. Let's try and hang on. Let's hope we don't have to close gaps. Ooh, that's a bit of a gap. That's a bit of a gap. 20 seconds. Let's try and close it down ASAP. There we go. Let's try and move up on the left side of the road. There we go. We've got 8k to go towards the outer Quartermont. So... Let's try and make sure we could potentially already do a small push on this one with Utrup Ludwig. There we go. Let's try on 95 for a bit. And take it to the entire top. 
We've got Chikini in second wheel. Amy Peters trying to close it down. We've got a, a group of three gone. We've got a true group of three gone. And we're going to try and work together. I don't think that Amy Peters will ride with us. But we might be able to keep it up. We've got a counterattack by Annemiek van Vleuten. Going past the Italian. And Longo Borghini trying to catch that as well. So there we go. A group of five into the final 17 kilometers. Out of Quartermont moving up. And it's about to... Uh, it's about to happen, isn't it? Let's try and hammer it. Let's drop the hammer here with our Danish dynamite. Let's move forward. 95 and 99. There we go. Come on, let's push it. Let's push it. The other group is way behind. Longo Borghini still following on Mick van Vleuten as well. Amy Peters in fourth wheel. We're now pushing real hard for the last portion of this section. I am happy already if we can somewhat keep it together. Amy Peters with a move. Oh, 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 oh that's strong. That's really strong. Can we even react to that? That is the real question. Come on, Cavalli. Come on, Cavalli. 97, 98. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm having trouble following. Come on, come on, come on. Stay in the wheel, stay in the wheel. She's got a bit of a gap. Let's try and stay with her and let's see if we can keep this going. We've got 30 seconds on the uh, chasers. That's Elisa longo Borghini and Annemiek van Vleuten. And we've got the Paterberg coming up. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, she's got a gap. Seven seconds. Can we close that down? I don't think we can. Oh, no, no, this is not good. We're gonna try and catch back, but Amy Peters looks to be on fire today with 6.5k to go, and I do not have the energy, I think, to catch her again. Ah, uh, two kilometers to go. The next group is coming back to me, which is not good. Let's try and catch up now. Let's go 80 towards Amy Peters. This will not happen. But now we're trying to close us down, but I think we're gonna be ending second here. I think we're gonna end second in Audenade. There comes our sprint, but it's not gonna be enough. It is not going to be enough because the winner is Amy Peters takes it. We're going to take a second spot with Marta Cavalli. And in third spot, Longo Borghini comes in. Van Vleuten in fourth and Brennauer in fifth. There we go. Amy Peters on the podium. We finish second. Honestly, I very much enjoyed playing that. 100%. I, um, I'm a bit sad that I didn't win, but that's a detail. Marta Cavalli with a wonderful performance and... All in all, I love playing with this women's database. I really like women's cycling. I enjoy watching it a lot. And to be able to dive into that world and be part of that myself here in PCM is really fun. So big shout out to uh, Badger Baroder and Pess Optimist and Alessandro for working together on this database because it does make me uh, enjoy this game a lot more. Anyway, if you enjoyed this playthrough of RVV with the Women's Database, then tap that like button. If you want me to do more of these, drop it below in the comment section. Give me some ideas for races you'd like me to ride with this database and so forth. And all in all, I think that's about it for this video. And I guess the last thing to say is thanks for watching. Goodbye.